Are you considering a career in healthcare? Well, if so, you've probably come across the term, the HESI exam. But what exactly is it? In this video, we'll dive into the world of HESI, or the Health Education Systems Incorporated exam. We'll cover what it is, who needs to take it, and how it can impact your future in healthcare. The HESI exam is a critical assessment tool used by many nursing and health science programs across the United States. It's designed to evaluate students' knowledge and skills in various healthcare-related subjects. Over the next few minutes, we're gonna break down, number one, the different types of HESI exams, number two, what subjects they cover, number three, how schools use HESI scores, and number four, tip to prepare for this important test. Now, there are several versions of the HESI exam, each designed for specific purposes. First is the HESI A2. This is the most common type, used by nursing schools to evaluate applicants. It covers academic subjects like math, reading comprehension, and basic sciences. The second one is the HESI exit exam, taken by nursing students at the end of their program to assess their readiness for the NCLEX licensing exam. The next one is HESI specialty exams. These focus on specific areas in nursing, such as pediatrics, maternity, or even mental health. The last one is HESI mid-curricular exam, used to evaluate students' progress midway through their nursing program. So let's take a closer look at the HESI A2 and the HESI exit exam. So starting with the HESI A2, this is a four-hour test that helps nursing schools evaluate potential candidates. But here's the thing. Schools can customize it to fit their needs. It's comprised of nine sections with a total of 326 questions. Say what? The nine sections are reading, comprehension, grammar, vocabulary, biology, here's a big one, anatomy and physiology, chemistry, physics, and the very last one is math. Now, the reading section of the SEA2 will measure students' ability to read passages, identify key points, and make logical conclusions. The vocabulary section includes medical terminology to test the student's verbal ability. This section tests, you guessed it, biology. For this section, students will want to know their basics like photosynthesis and even cellular respiration. In anatomy and physiology, or the a &P section of this exam, it's important to know the organs, body systems, mitosis, meiosis, and even general terminology. Oh, and the dreaded chemistry section. You either hate chemistry or you love it. Nerds. Here, students will see chemical equations, bonds, and periodic tables. Now, last but definitely not least is all about math. Students should be prepared to answer questions including fractions, dosage calculations, ratios, and all things PEMDAS. Whew, okay, that was a lot. But remember, schools can mix and match these sections, so always check your program for specifics. Now, the last thing you need to know about the HESI A2 is that it's also a way for schools to gain more insight about students' learning styles. Me, personally, I'm a visual learner. If you'd like some help with your HESI A2 exam, you can check out our free resources linked in the description below. Okay, now let's talk about the HESI exit exams. HESI exit exams help nursing schools determine whether or not a student is prepared to pass the NCLEX after graduation from the program. They're designed to mimic the NCLEX, which is the national licensure exam that all nursing graduates must pass to practice. To protect the NCLEX pass rate statistics, some schools will even use the exit exam as a means to determine if a student can graduate. This form of the HESI is said to be 98% accurate in the pass prediction. Now, the HESI RN exit exam consists of 150 questions. For LPNs, however, the exam may either have 150 or even 75 questions. This all depends upon your school-specific requirements. Now, both exams include various question types to challenge your critical thinking skills. We're talking multiple choice, multiple response, fill in the blank, even drag and drop, which are all types of questions that you can expect to see on the NCLEX. Now, we've mentioned nine topics on the HESI A2 exam, 
But what are the topics students will see on the HESI exit exams? The exam is comprehensive, covering all the crucial areas you've studied in nursing school. So let's break it down. First, there's nursing process. We're talking assessment, nursing diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. Then we have client needs, which includes safe and effective environment, management of care, safety and infection control, and even health promotion, psychosocial integrity, basic care and comfort, and last but not least, is pharmaceutical and parenteral treatments. The HESI exit exam also tests your knowledge in various nursing specialties. This includes nursing fundamentals, geriatric, OBGYN, medical surgical, pediatrics, critical care, community health, and mental health. So the HESI exit exam really covers everything from the basics and nursing skills to specialized areas of practice. It's designed to make sure that you're fully prepared for the challenges of the NCLEX and your future career in nursing. Studying for your HESI exit exam will be like getting a head start on your NCLEX studying. For HESI exit exam help, you can simply check out the free study resources we offer in the description below this video. Now, as we wrap up our exploration of HESI exam, let's recap the key points we've covered about the HESI A2 and the HESI exit exams. So here's a quick overview of each. Whether you're facing the HESI A2 or the exit exam, remember that these tests are designed to help you succeed. They're not just hurdles to overcome, but actually valuable tools to assess your knowledge and identify areas for improvement. So as you prepare for your HESI exams, remember, stay focused, stay consistent, and believe in yourself. Simple Nursing is always here if you need help. We have numerous resources available to help you repair, including practice tests, study guides, and remediation. So take advantage of these study tools to boost your confidence and performance. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of what HESI exams are and why they're so important. And always remember, don't be scared, be prepared. Each step of the process is bringing you closer to your goal of becoming a nurse. You got this. Thanks for watching. Did you know you can unlock beautifully handcrafted study guides, packed with key points and memory tricks from all our videos? Plus, you'll get access to over 1,200 exclusive videos not on YouTube, all neatly organized by nursing school topic to make that complex nursing knowledge actually stick. You'll also gain thousands of practice questions written by current professors and actual NCLEX writers. So for access to all this and more, click right up here or visit simplenursing.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy studying, and we'll see you in the next videos.